my new obsession guys that I absolutely love Bob Jurakul. It was like four dollars guys, four dollars and it's been one of my favorite bronzers that I think I've ever used. My final touch, my secret weapon, the thing that I've just been loving so much and I'm obsessed with is what do you guys think? Hello guys, good morning. I have been getting asked so much lately if I can film a little get ready with me. So I am about to do my makeup. I've really switched up a lot of my products lately. I feel like since going dark, I've just like been trialing different makeup. So I have got heaps of new products that I've been loving. Couple things that like, oh my gosh, absolutely love. None of these products are sponsored whatsoever. This is just literally all the items that I'm currently loving and using. And then later on in today's vlog too, I'm gonna have a bit of a hair transformation. So I thought may as well pop it all in one vlog. It can be a little bit of like a beauty vlog. So first up, let's go get my skin prepped. I go through phases where I use primer and when I just literally put my moisturizer on and lately I've just been using my moisturizer. So I'm going to pop that on underneath before I put my makeup on. Also, if you guys watched the last vlog, then you would know that Curdy went in and got a vasectomy. I was a little bit worried about his recovery because I heard such mixed reviews on how he was going to be and honestly the first day he was in a fair bit of pain then he woke up this morning and he's like so fine the thing that was like the absolute worst for him um was his back pain from sitting around so much he's like my back is so sore so today he's been up and moving around he's obviously not doing anything too crazy like not going on like a big walk or going to the gym but he's definitely moving around heaps more today so i feel like he's nearly almost back to normal so it's not been bad at all i've had heaps of you messaging me on instagram being like let me know what it's like because my husband's like worried about getting it done um and yeah i mean for curdy personally he's been so so fine it's been not as bad as i expected and i know like everyone would be different even just the way the doctor does a procedure i'm sure it's different for everyone i feel like kurt's like people tell me it would be like really swollen and bruised and um he did go through someone that a few of his friends had recommended and the guy that he went through like he had no issues at all like no swelling no bruising it's he like healing already really well so yeah that has been our personal experience anyway so far now my new obsession guys that i absolutely love and i don't know why it's taken me so long to try these foundations but the l'oreal true match foundation i've got two shades that i mix in depending whether i have fake tan on or not oh my gosh these are so 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 good um they literally go on like water and you can really build up the coverage if you want to but they just feel like you're not even wearing makeup they are so nice and i've literally just been applying this with my hands i feel like they're still it's still like quite natural looking you could even just wear this on its own if you wanted to but i'm putting two colors together give me a little mix of my hands and then i literally just like rub it in my face yeah it's just been like so easy to just pop on and i'll show you guys the coverage so it's like really nice coverage still like natural you can definitely still see my freckles and stuff like that but i'm kind of liking that lately but it just feels really nice on your skin literally does not feel like you're wearing foundation it's not thick whatsoever you can layer it if you wanted to so if you wanted a little bit more coverage you could go in with like another layer but yeah i'm really really liking this foundation lately next up holy grail cannot go past it tart shape tape concealer i wear the shade light medium sand this is just like the best the absolute best so I just put a little bit, does go a long way, but a little bit in here, a little bit underneath. Maybe like a couple dots there, a little bit down my nose. I go in here because it does get red. Trim. I just grab a brush. Wow, I really need to clean my brushes. Blend it in. Concealer done. Now, contour. I feel like I change up my products a lot with contour. I'll show you guys a few that I really like. So, first things first, love the Fenty Beauty Contour Stick. I use it in the shade Mocha. There is another one I think I like better, Suede, but it did, they didn't have it in stock. My Mario Stick, Makeup by Mario. This one is in shade Medium. But I still keep going back to my Last Minerals in shade 12, no matter how many times I like try other ones. I feel like I just go back to this one. 
I don't know what it is. I think it's got, it's got coverage in it as well. This looks so nice. And I just dip my brush into the stick and a little bit goes a long way. Like it's really pigmented. I hope I'm not doing this really bad by watching myself in the viewfinder instead of the mirror. <laughs> and I just do it all around the perimeter of my face. Something else that I have seen a makeup artist do before, which I absolutely love if you overline your lips, is I grab a little bit of the contour and I actually overline my lips with the bronzer contour. It just looks a bit more natural. And you still put your lip liner over the top. But yeah, I just saw him do that. And every time now, like I do it, I swear my lip liner just always looks way better. Um, and then nose contour. Honestly, guys, I'm normally really lazy with my nose contour. Sometimes I fully carve it out with like the same little brush, but most of the time I just grab the same brush that I put on my cheeks and I just like whack, whack, <laughs> whack, whack. <laughs> I'm not a makeup artist. Bob your uncle. Okay. I have got the Stay Matte Pressed Powder in Transparent. I have used this one for years. Um, sometimes I use my brush, sometimes I use this little guy I just got off Amazon. So you just tap it underneath my eyes. So this just like really presses it in. But I will always dust it off afterwards with my brush. This is how the base is looking so far. This little guy is something really new that I picked up. I literally just sort of came out and I was like, I'm going to try this. It was like $4, guys, $4. And it's been one of my favorite bronzers that I think I've ever used. So it's the OXX Cosmetics. And I literally, like I said, just got it from Kmart. Bronzer powder. It doesn't say shade on it. So I'm guessing it does. It's, I don't know if it's a bunch of different shades or if there's only one. Um, I just literally saw this there and I was like, oh, I'll give that a go. And I really like it. I'll show you guys. So I put a little bit on big fluffy brush. Again, it's very pigmented though. So like just go in light handed. And I just go over everywhere that I put the contour. And then lately too, I've also been using this as an eyeshadow. So just grabbing it on a fluffy brush, focusing it on the outer edge and then It in. It doesn't have to be perfect. This is just like my day to day as well. This is like my most days I do my makeup this way. Because it's quick and easy. So focus on the outer edge and then start to drag it in so it's not as thick and dark in the center. And it's kind of more dark on the outer edge. Okay, there is eyeshadow done on the top. I do always wear eyeshadow underneath as well. I just personally really like the look of that now. I didn't do this for many, many years and only like the last year or two. I've started doing this just really close to my lash line. And now, yeah, whenever I forget this, I'm like, no. And the other side. Now we are going to do blush. The blush I've been using lately. I still don't feel like I like absolutely love this blush, but it'll do. It's the Manal Manali. <laughs> Milani blush in the color Luminoso um, number five. So it's okay. I just feel like I could find better. Let me know what blushes you guys love at the moment. It's definitely okay. I don't mind it. I do have a cream blush that I use sometimes too and like I'll layer with, but this is my everyday like quicker makeup. All right. And I always put a little bit of my nose. She's getting there. All right, now for lips. This is probably the most asked question that I get for my makeup. This lip liner, the Revlon Colorstay Longwear Lip Liner in the shade Nude. I'm sure it's just Nude. Yeah, Nude. This is what it looks like. The Revlon one, shade Nude. It is the best. I absolutely love it. This is scary doing this out of mirror. Okay, so that is a lip liner that I absolutely love. Now, when I have my matte lip, which heaps of you guys asked me about, I pair that liner with my Maybelline Stay Super Stay in the shade Loyalist. But I literally do like a tiny little dot there and then rub it in with my finger and it lasts all day. Does not budge. But lately, you girls been into her glosses. So my favorite gloss at the moment is the Maybelline Lifter Gloss. Um, and this one is in the shade number four, Silk. I just love this color. I feel like it's so, so pretty. 
every time I wear it, I just like really like how my makeup looks. Again, you don't need heaps. It feels so like nice and nourishing on your lips as well, this one. That's what it looks like. Just like a real natural color for me. Like I feel like it just looks like, yeah, very natural, but it does actually still have a bit of color in it. So, so, so nice. Oh, my new obsession, my new obsession brow product wise is this Emco Beauty Brow Laminate Sculpt and Set. I just got this from good old Woolies. It is the bee's knees. And that lip liner that I showed you guys as well, you can literally just get that from Coles. That's where I get mine from. You put it in your brows. I've been getting heaps of comments on my brows lately too. And this is why. I also do have my eyebrows microbladed. Hence why I'm not filling them in. And then I use this little brush side. I don't use the hard side. I use the brush side and just brush them up that is the brows all done now that is literally my makeup how i do it every single day it takes me no time at all it's just so easy but my final touch my secret weapon the thing that i've just been loving so much and i'm obsessed with is kiss falscara lashes so i've got this one here which are the lengthening ones which are a little bit more dramatic last time i had lashes on i didn't have these ones on i had the natural ones on which are the natural wispies so this is the one that i've been wearing most of the time but i just felt like going a little bit more dramatic i think i'm getting my hair done tomorrow and you know just felt like why not i'm gonna go the longer ones so if you want something really 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 natural go the um light wispies they look super natural like people ask me are they they are they your wow can i talk are they your real lashes all the time and i'm like no they're not um but then if you want something a little bit more dramatic you can go these ones so basically with these, you put them on and they last me, I would say five days, between five and seven days, which is crazy. So you put them on, don't have to worry about them again until I next do my tan. I normally just leave them off till I do my tan. And it's just so easy, so nice not having to do my mascara every single day. Um, and yeah, I'm just literally obsessed with them. They go on underneath your lashes. What I'm going to do is I wanted to film a TikTok putting these on. So I'm going to film that now. I'll do that on one eye and then I'll come back. And I'll show you guys here over on YouTube how I apply them on the other eye. Okay, I'm balancing you guys on a dry shampoo bottle, so hopefully you don't fall. This is how they look. So I've done it on this eye here. So what you're going to need is firstly an eyelash curler. This makes it a lot easier because they go underneath your lashes. Then um, you can get a pack which has got the bond and seal. It's also got a set of lashes in it and it comes with the tweezers, so you will need that. And then something else that comes separate, which I feel like it should come in the pack, is the overnighter. So this is what you need to make it last like the five to seven days. So this is something that you need to buy separately. And then just a good pair of tweezers. So I use these ones to like push them down, but I use my own tweezers to put them on. So first we're gonna curl the lashes. Once you're done curling your lashes, First thing that I do is I pick out the lash that I wanna use. So I start off on the outside with the large lash. So I'm gonna pick that one out. And then I basically work my way along. So that's on the very outside. Then the next one in, I go medium, next one in, medium. And then the very last one is the small. Then I grab the bond. And I just right on the outer edge. Put it on like mascara, but mainly focusing on the base of your lashes. And they're really nice and easy, guys. Like I'm not someone who ever wore false lashes before. So if I can do this, <laughs> I feel like any of you will be able to do this too. And stick it on. There we go. Then I use this little pinchy tool and I pinch them together. Mine's getting really sticky because it's getting the bond stuck in it. So what you can do if it's getting really sticky is just use the seal on the other side and actually brush it on the tweezers before you clamp it down so it doesn't stick as much. I feel really weird doing it on this side. I feel like I'm good at my right side. I struggled more. There we go. That's sticking way less now. Now just repeat. So do the medium size one and then just put the bond right next to the one that you've just done. Next one is on. Beautiful. All right. Now what you want to do is use the seal and just go over all of them. So this is what makes it seal into place. Then last but not least, they are a little bit like sticky sometimes till they dry down for a few minutes. Um, with the overnighter, I go in and I layer this three times. So this is what makes it last for the full amount of time. Just pull your lashes up and it's like a liquid eyeliner. There you go. Wait for it to dry for, I don't know, 10 seconds. And then I just, again and again 
And that is it guys. It's so, so, so convenient. Like I think I'll be doing these for a while. I just love that they last so long. One thing though that I will say is obviously if you like rub them really hard, they're gonna come off. In the shower, I just kind of wash around them and then I come out and I use like my Esme cleansing toner and we'll actually clean around my eyes like with that. So yeah, obviously if you're rough with them and like rub them heaps or like even put them under like heaps of water pressure, they will kind of come off obviously sooner. But I've been loving them. Anyways, tomorrow morning when I wake up, I'm gonna be going and getting new set of hair extensions. So these hair extensions, I did so much research on. I like went deep into TikTok, like looking at all these different videos, looked online, also spoke to different people as well. Um, so these ones that I'm getting are keratin hair extensions and apparently they're the least damaging. In fact, if you maintain them and look after them properly from home, there should be no damage. Um, not only that, but the maintenance, you only have to go back every four to six months. Whereas beforehand I was going back like every six weeks. I'm getting them done at High Society in Kingscliff and I cannot wait. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Good morning guys. Today is the day I'm going to get my hair done. I've just done two shampoos and conditioner on my ends and then put nothing else in my hair. That's what she's asked me to do this morning and yeah I'm so excited. So excited to have nice thick longer hair again. It's been so long, it's been two years since I've had hair extensions. Oh my gosh, guys, my hair is done. The lady who did it as well, Donna, she was not only so lovely, but so amazing. Like the way she did it, I sent her an inspo pic. She like absolutely nailed it. I am so happy. It feels so nice to have long, thick hair again. Oh, I'm so excited, I can't wait to see Kurt's reaction and the kids' reaction. I'll show you guys what it is once I get home, but I honestly could not be happier. Hello. Hava, hava. <laughs> wow. You like it? Yeah. You love it? We're going out tonight. <laughs> what do you guys think? What do you guys think? You like it? Yeah? I can do a Alright. Oh. I can I can do well, guys, we are heading out now for the afternoon. We're gonna go watch Uncle Freddy play football. But I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Something really different. I feel like it's been just me this vlog, all my pampering. But if you guys enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye, bye.